Hey everyone, it's Steve Spangler from the Spangler Effect and Six Science with another cool demo from our science demo lab here in Denver. Um, uh, very, very cool. I want to show you a, a material called lycopodium. Sometimes people only know it to be used in one circumstance. It's really a great uh, multi-use kind of chemical. You're going to find it from your local chemical supplier, in this particular case, Flynn Scientific. I first was introduced, my dad was a chemist, and so I remember him doing this uh, pretty early on. So uh, it's a glass of water, and then the lycopodium, it's a club moss. Uh, it was spread on the top like this, and notice how it just stays right there on the top. So as I squeeze it out here like this, it kind of just stays there on the top. Good, there it is. So it kind of floats right there on the top. Now, the object was, can you dip your finger into the water without getting your finger wet? And the answer is yes, because like a podium actually coats your finger. So as your finger goes down like this, it coats your finger and it's out and it's perfectly dry. So you coat your finger, um, here like this, coat your finger. It, uh, it is a, a natural hydrophobic material, right? So um, kind of a cool thing. There was a, a right up many, many years ago, uh, early 1900s as a bar bet that somebody would put a silver dollar in a shot glass or whatever it was and bet that they could reach in and pull the silver dollar out uh, without getting wet. The um, person would pull out a little like a podium and they'd reach in and pull out the silver dollar. And then the other person would shoot them. So that's probably <laughs> how that went. All right, so uh, everybody, uh, this is the one that probably gets missed the most. People don't know that lycopodium does that. Lycopodium uh, was a coating that pharmacists used on uh, vitamins as well. Uh, it kept the vitamins from sticking together. All right, so all that's fine. But that's probably not why you wanted to see the lycopodium piece because there is something else that's very cool. Lycopodium is used by special effects artists all the time because of its flammability. Now watch, if I take a little of the lycopodium and put it right here on the table like that, or on the, the little dish, watch what happens when we try to light it. Nothing happens at all. Lycopodium doesn't burn unless it's distributed in the air. And once we distribute it in the air, the particles are so fine. Here, take a look at this. The particles are so fine, ah, oh, there it is, that uh, you get now that grain elevator kind of explosion effect where one particle catches on fire, it's a chain reaction. The next one, the next one, the next one. So you get something that kind of looks like this. So you get that amazing fire. Special effects artists like it because it can't jump back into the container and then cause this to explode. It has to be distributed in the air to give you that kind of amazing effect there. Wow, that really is some good stuff. I wanted a way to be able to control it because this is a little weird. And for television, I needed a way to be able to do that um, so that the person doing the demo could do it as well. So I came up with this probably about 10 years ago. Um, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Here's a way to disperse it in the air. So let me show you what it looks like first. We'll put a little of the lycopodium here like this into the tube. So now, now watch what happens. Here we go. Watch this. Bam! That look good? All right, so here it is. It's really, really simple. It's a striker. <laughs> I mean, it's really, really simple. And there's just tubing that goes into the striker like this. The hard part is knowing how to blow into it um, so you don't blow too hard and cause it to come out and blow out the flame. So I'm just going to put a little of the lycopodium in here. You can kind of see it going down into the tube like this. So there it is sitting in the tube. And now it's a matter of... Uh, I, I do this on the bottom here so that now it will curl up and over it. You can turn the whole thing upside down, which is maybe even better. So if I hold it here like this, then I'm sure to hit the flame. Just a, a gentle blow. Bam, and you get that great fireball that's there. Now, of course, this was just offered for educational purposes only. I'm not recommending that you go out and you make one of these and not recommending that you do anything with a fire with a lycopodium, but for educational purposes only, at least to be able to see how the flamethrower works and some really cool things uh, around this uh, mysterious material here called lycopodium. When you find a jar of it in a chem lab uh, or you run across it, uh, Two great properties. All right, as always, you can visit our uh, website at stevespanglerscience.com. Join us on our other channels uh, here on YouTube with Six Science and uh, with Spangler Science TV. Uh, connect with us on all the social things. Remember, do everything possible to keep making science fun.